Hello and welcome to Learning to Learn. My name is Ian Gibbs and today is a wet Friday. But Friday mornings are when I have my language exchange. After dropping my kids off at school, I go to the local bar and I spend one hour practicing my Catalan with my language exchange partner. Uh, but often, he's a little bit late. And so I have five or 10 minutes to do something. Now, most people, if you, if you find yourself in a bar with five or 10 minutes to spare, you might be tempted to just stare out the window or maybe get on your mobile phone, look at social media, send a few messages, etc. But there's actually something that you can do which is very useful, a very good learning technique. And uh, well, I'll talk about that once I get inside out the rain. So I've, I've come to sit outside because inside it's extremely noisy and there's no way that I could try and video myself. So even though it's raining, I'm sitting underneath the shelter with my, with my traditional breakfast here, uh, croissant there and uh, my cup of Ah, it's lovely. So now that I've got a few minutes to spare, I can do a bit of learning. Now, what I'm referring to here is that on my phone, I, if you can see here, there's a little orange icon. That orange icon is an app, a very useful app called Anki app. And Anki app is a flashcard revision app. Now, flashcard apps are great. And, and actually I say flashcard apps because there are several different flashcard apps on the market you just pick the one that you find the best uh, i use anki app because i find it the simplest and most effective the that they have several advantages over regular flashcards the most obvious is that normal flashcards are, are a physical thing you have to carry them around with you whereas the flashcard app you can use it whenever wherever you want the second advantage is that is that most of the flashcard apps work on some kind of spaced repetition system, which is a, a very powerful way of learning something. And what Anki app does is that when you come to, to do five minutes of revision, for each card, you have the opportunity to grade yourself on how well you could remember what it was that you had to remember. So you can grade yourself fail, difficult, good, or easy. And then what the app does is that the next time you come to revise, it remembers the ones that you found more challenging and it brings those back. And the ones that you found easier to remember, it doesn't bring back so often. So you're constantly revising the stuff that you found more challenging. You're always being stretched. And of course, flashcard apps are extremely convenient. With a normal deck of revision cards, you might at best be going through them once a day. Whereas with a flashcard app, there's nothing to stop you from going through it whenever you get a spare two minutes, which means that you could be doing revision five, 10, 15 times a day. Let's face it, how many times do you actually look at your mobile phone during one day? And if you could get into the habit of just revising half a dozen flashcards every time you looked at your phone, how much practice would that mean that you're getting? I'd imagine the answer would be quite a lot. So the question is, is there something that you're trying to learn at the moment? And if so, do you have a flashcard app on your phone? Because if you don't, then you're missing a big opportunity. Even on wet days, when you've only got a few minutes spare to rub together, you can still learn a few things by using uh, a flashcard revision app. And that will help you to, to remember, to help you focus, and basically help you become a better learner. My name is Ian Gibbs. This is Learning to Learn. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.